Hello. With this video, let's understand how to use sandbox features in IBM Planning Analytics Workspace. Log in into IBM Planning Analytics Workspace with your credentials. To learn about sandboxes and data spread options, we will take an example of product unit forecast. As you can see, we are in forecast version of year 2020. We have our actual data till May month. It is populated with the help of real-time calculation. Now, we need to forecast the quantity sold from June to December. Here, instead of entering the data directly in base server, we will create sandboxes. Sandboxes are like a private workspace where you can make changes to the data without sending these changes to the server. This can be useful when doing a what-if analysis to see the overall impact if only a few values changed. Or if you are facing a few different scenarios like best case and worst case scenarios and you want to know what the outcome will be if either of these situations occur. When working with sandboxes, it's helpful to know some terms. The data that resides on the server is referred to as base data, and this is the data that all users see. When you are creating a sandbox, you are not making a copy of the base data, instead, the sandbox is like a virtual layer of data that sits on top of the base. Let's create sandboxes. In this case, to forecast the data from June to December, we will create a sandbox, such as best case. You get to start with initial values from base data when you create the very first sandbox. Later on, you will get to choose your initial values, either from base data or from another sandbox. Once you created a sandbox, you can see a drop-down appeared beside sandbox icon. This drop-down tells us whether we are in base data or in a sandbox. Now to populate the forecast numbers, we will use spread data feature. This is one of the powerful feature of IBM Planning Analytics. It has various data spread options that can be used while performing what-if analysis or entering budget or forecast data. There are a few fundamental concepts before entering the data. You want to look at cell color. If the cells appear dark gray or green, these are derived or locked cells, and you cannot enter data into these. However, white cells are editable. To populate the forecast from June to December, right-click on Cell and click on Spread Data tab you will see various data spread options. We will take an example of relative proportional spread. Relative proportional spreads values to leaves of a consolidated cell, proportional to leaves of a reference cell. The reference cell can be from the same cube or a different cube. In this case, we will refer budget numbers to populate the forecast. Considering the current situation, we will assume that we will sell 12,000 units as a best case scenario. The data has been spread within seconds. Now, let's create one more sandbox as worst case. This time, we will choose best case scenario, populate initial values. Let's reduce the data of three months. Here, we will use percentage change as data spread option. We will select subtract option to reduce the data by 50%. Now, let's reduce the numbers of July month. Instead of performing all the steps, we will use shortcut key feature and we will type P% 50 and press enter. And you can see the updated numbers. You can use various data spread options. Now, in this case we will use hold feature. The hold feature gives you the ability to do full top-down data spread or partial data spread. All you have to do is select a cell on which you want to apply hold. Right-click on the cell and click on hold option. As soon as you apply hold on a particular cell, you can see a pause symbol appeared at the left side of the cell. This shows you that the cell is on hold and the value will not change. Now, we have ability to change the values at a consolidated level. We will reduce the value of August month by entering an absolute value. You can see that the other values changed, but not the one which we kept on hold. You can always release the holds by selecting release hold option. Now, you can see that our base data remained untouched, but we have couple of virtual layers on which we have performed our what-if analysis. IBM Planning Analytics gives you the ability to see the impact of what-if analysis till the final output screen. In this case, we can see the impact till income statement. 
The blue color signifies the values that are impacted due to data change done in sandboxes. You can also see these sandboxes in any cube and in any visualization which are the part of the same server. IBM Planning Analytics give you the ability to juxtapose your sandboxes and perform variance analysis. IBM Planning Analytics also gives you the power to create visually rich infographics, which facilitates deep dive into what-if analysis. Once you are satisfied with your scenario analysis, you can commit the numbers to base server. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this video.